My name is Pablo Arredondo, and I'm a co-founder and chief innovation officer at a company called Case Text. You might not have heard of Case Text, but we are now being used by thousands of attorneys from large multinational firms to small boutiques because we have built the best legal research platform in the world, and we've done it in a way that makes it affordable as well. Case Text has combined the best from the key disciplines of data science, design, and engineering, and coupled it with our strong instincts about what it is that attorneys need to do their job well. And we should know, all three of Case Text's co-founders were former litigators themselves. With Case Text, we first cover the basics, everything you need, all the primary law, statutes, rules, regulations, your basic searching like Boolean, citator to see if a case has been overruled or not, highlighting notes, copy with cite, all of the regular things that you need. However, when we do it, it's with a much more clean interface and with a much more intuitive design that takes much less time to learn how to use and is much less frustrating to navigate. But we don't stop there. On top of these basics, we put the most cutting edge technology that exists when it comes to legal research. Specifically, we have something called parallel search, which is unlike anything you've ever tried before. Parallel search lets you search using the actual sentences that you want to include in your brief, your letter to opposing counsel, memo to your client. No more having to design long Boolean queries, experimenting with keyword after keyword. Parallel search will bring you results that are relevant to the sentence as a whole, even when there's no overlap in the underlying keyword. This is a leap forward in what's possible and represents the biggest uh, step forward in terms of how we can navigate the law since cases were first digitized. Let me show you what I mean. This is parallel search, and I'm gonna enter the following query. Forgive the colorful characters. McVader's termination of Skywalker for refusal to wear a mask cannot be construed as discriminatory. Again, this is a full sentence. There's no research engine in the world that will let you enter a sentence like this and be able to return relevant language as a whole, much less do so without any regard for the underlying keywords themselves, but by instead focusing on what matters, the concepts. That's why when you look at these results, you're gonna find other instances where employees refused to wear something related to their job, were fired or had an adverse employment action and alleged that it was a type of discrimination. So this first one has to do with uh, wearing, not refusing to wear the uniform. Second one has to do with uh, dreadlocks. This third one, it wasn't a mask that was at issue, it was a hard hat. Now it's very easy for us as lawyers to look at those two situations and understand that they're basically the same underlying concepts, right? Employee refuses to wear safety apparel, alleges that it was discrimination when they were terminated. Very easy for us as lawyers, before these breakthroughs, absolutely impossible to do with computers. And that's why it's absolutely impossible to do anywhere but on case text. And this next example, it wasn't a hard hat or a mask at issue, but improper brazing glasses. Now, I don't know about you, but I could have stayed up all night trying to guess various safety apparel and I would never have guessed brazing glasses. So not only will this technology find things that you might've found if you spend enough time in a frustrating attempt to guess the right words, but it will also service things that you almost certainly wouldn't have found even if you tried really hard using traditional tools. That's the power of parallel search and it is being called a uh, uh, head and shoulders above what's offered by Westlaw and Lexus. All I can say is to really experience it, you need to try it for yourself. But case text doesn't stop there. You also have the ability to contextualize your research to match the case that you're working on simply by drag and dropping a document like a complaint. So for instance, if I search the word copyright without doing anything, I'm literally gonna get the phone book, right? This is a case feist about whether or not you can copyright a phone book. But with case text, in case text alone, I can drag and drop a complaint. So for instance, here, this is a complaint that was filed in the Southern District of New York where a musician, a reggae artist had alleged that another musician, Miley Cyrus, had stolen certain phrases from his song and was therefore liable for copyright infringement. I'm able to take the actual complaint, drag and drop it into the system. And what it will do is now process the huge amount of information that's encoded in those 30 pages. It will pull in all that information and it will tailor the entire platform so that now when I enter the exact same query, just the word copyright, I don't get the phone book anymore. Instead, what I get are cases where musicians were sued in the Southern District of New York 
for copyright infringement based on phrases in a song. So this first result is actually from this Miley Cyrus litigation. The second one has to do with Usher. And I think the phrase is caught up. This third one is my favorite though. They were fighting over the uh, got my mojo working and the court actually gets deep into what is mojo. So if you ever find yourself needing precedent for mojo, we've got you covered there. Moreover, let's say you have your draft brief before you file and you wanna make sure you're not missing anything. We invented the ability to drag and drop a brief and have, it and have the system suggest cases that are highly relevant, but not already cited in the brief. So here, for instance, is a summary judgment motion that was filed by um, counsel for Uber in a litigation about whether or not the drivers should be characterized as employees or independent contractors. Again, very standard summary judgment motion, drag and drop, allow it a few minutes to process the huge amount of information in there, including running a very robust citation analysis that goes well beyond what you can do with Shepherds or Keysight. And then it will suggest highly relevant cases, including for instance, the fact that Lyft drivers brought the same claim uh, and there was a similar summary judgment motion in that litigation as well. We also let you create a smart site report and binder to help review the documents and cases filed by, in a motion by opposing counsel. To do that, you simply drag and drop here into the site check a brief function. Again, give it a few seconds. And what it will do is create a binder of sorts, which will list all of the cases that opposing counsel relies upon. It will let you sort by depth of treatment, which is to say, which cases are they relying most heavily on? And if you click on one of these cases, we'll even tell you these are the pages that opposing counsel use, uh, cited to directly in their brief. But the most powerful thing you can do with the brief binder is click here on the smart site report, where we will go case by case and suggest cases that might help refute, rebut, distinguish, and otherwise combat the cases that opposing counsel relies on. So what Case Text is trying to do is simple. We're trying to raise the bar by building technology that is uniquely powerful for lawyers to do their job. And we're trying to level the playing field by making this technology affordable for everyone in the legal profession. If you're watching this, if you've gotten this far, that means you're a little bit curious if the technology you're using could be better. And I submit to you, it certainly can. And I urge you to go to casetext.com and do a free trial and see for yourself what happens when you bring the best of design, data science, engineering, and strong instincts as to what attorneys really need to do their job together. Case text. Thank you so much.